Hello everyone, Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic and the UK R2 Builders Club. One of the questions I get asked quite a lot uh, for people who are building the Padawan 360 system is um, why are they having problems getting their Arduino Mega to work? Now, if they've been following my videos, which I know a great deal of you do, and I, I appreciate that, and I'm very happy to always try and help out if I can, uh, my videos always feature an Arduino Uno. Now, the pinouts on the Arduino Uno are different to the Arduino Mega, so I thought it was probably about time I did one specifically for the Mega to try and help people out if they're getting a bit stuck. So, um, first off, just to uh, mention that I don't currently have a SparkFun MP3 uh, trigger board on this particular build. Um, everywhere seems to be out of stock at the moment, so I'm waiting for that to come down. Um, but what we do have is we have a Siren 10 on the left and the Sabretooth 2x32 on the right. Uh, and an Arduino Mega with a USB host shield and uh, a pattern USB receiver. The uh, This is just one of the sort of Chinese branded ones. Uh, first time I've actually had one with an amber uh, LED, weirdly enough, but that's beside the point. So th the thing to note is that the Mega dif uh, differs from the Uno, the Arduino Mega differs from the Arduino Uno, in that the Uno does only has one dedicated serial port. And that is why on my videos, you'll see me going into the um, the top pins up here on the shield and um, pins four and five. So it's one, four and five is the default because you have to use software serial on the Uno. Now the Mega differs in that it's actually got hardware serial ports, which uh, uh, or pins I should say, which if I can focus in on there, is these ones down the bottom. The ones labeled TX and RX. Now, the purple wire, as you can see, is going off to serial one on the Siren 10. And that purple wire is in TX216. So effectively, it's, it's TX channel two or transmit two for serial port two. And it just happens to be called pin 16. So it's not 216, it's um, TX2 on pin 16. Uh, likewise, the gray or white cable there is going off to S1 on my Sabretooth 2x32, and that is TX1. So you can see it's TX1, and it's actually pin number 18. So the pins kind of go reverse to what you might think they would do. So as I say, I haven't got my Sabretooth in here, but um, as you can probably guess, I would imagine, it's probably gonna go into TX3, which is pin 14, or so TX314, would be your, um, your uh, MP3 board. So yeah, that's it. Um, very, very simple and straightforward. So just to prove that things are working, uh, we are currently in drive. The, the, uh, sorry, we're currently out of drive. So uh, also just something else to mention very quickly whilst I'm making this video. If you're trying to pair your transmitter to your receiver and you see this spinning circle, that does not necessarily mean they haven't paired, okay? I know that is sort of one of the states for when it's not actually connected uh, typically or hasn't paired properly or it's searching for it. Um, but this is also the default state for your um, Padawan 360 system. So just to sort of prove that, as I move the right thumbstick, which is gonna be your dome control, you can see my little dome motor over there, or analog dome motor, is spinning around quite happily, backwards and forwards. Uh, but because we're in uh, the, the lights are spinning, it means we're in safe mode as far as the drive is concerned. So if I move the left stick, nothing happens. But if I push start, I would have normally got an audio confirmation, but as I say, I've got no audio board at the moment. But now if I move my sticks around, you can see I'm just using my ALT droid for demonstration purposes. I have now got control over drive. And likewise, if I click down on the left stick, I can go to speeds two or three. which is obviously now a lot quicker. So the fact that the circle is spinning around, as I say, does not necessarily mean you, you are not paired. And the best thing to do, if you see the spinning circle and you're not sure, just push the start button. If it stops spinning and you can click down on the left stick like this to change which segment it is lit, it means you have successfully paired. So anyway, that was it. Just a quick video on hopefully um, some helpful hints around which ports you plug into for your transmit channels on an Arduino Mega and obviously don't forget to use the Mega Sketch not the Uno Sketch because that will probably not upload but it will give you a whole world of pain if it does. Okay that's it thanks for watching take care everyone speak to you soon bye for now.